What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven. And welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Yes, I almost said Shining Pearl again. I probably should have went with Shining Pearl. I don't know. Anywho, in our last episode, we managed to get ourselves three new Pokemon. Ralts, Ghastly, and uh, Gibble. Of course, we're not using Ralts right now because it's way too overleveled. And yes, Hydra finally evolved into Gyarados, so now it is finally time for us to go straight into Route 206 and check out what's going on down, down there. And, uh... Crap baskets. I just realized something. Holy buckets. Lexi, hold on. Hold on, I just realized something, and you guys are going to be getting on me for this. Uh... Oh, we got enough repels. Okay, so, yes, we're going to be going into Route 206 because uh, we got to we gotta uh, take on some people right here. Uh, there is a hidden item right here. Look, so we're just going to be cutting that down and getting ourselves a full heal. Alrighty. Okay. Now, seven repels don't really make me feel comfortable, so let me be right back, guys. Alrighty, guys, so... Uh, we got ourselves a repels. We got at least 20 repels because I, I around this part, guys, I am never truly prepared for what's to come, especially with all the grass that comes over here. Now, running doesn't really help, but you will be able to find yourself a repel here and there, like this one, a super repel, which I think we're going to be using later on. But keep an eye out for everything right here. You will be finding some berries, hidden items, and all that stuff. Just keep an eye out for all that stuff right there, guys. So, there you go. Soft loamy state. Here we go. Another two Ross Berries, which uh, will help us out. And we're going to go right here. Now, Pokemon you can find right here. Uh, Ponyta is one of them. Uh, Beeberl, I believe. Hmm, Bidoof, probably. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. And there is an individual that probably wants to battle. So, let's go right ahead. You know what? We, we, we got to go with the same guy right here. So... Let's go. Whoa, you startled me. Well, we may as well battle. We're going to be battling. So here we go, guys, taking on Theodore. Not from the Chipmunks, but Theodore himself. And he's going to be coming out with an Onyx. And uh, we all know how much we love Onyx, right? So let's go. Monfernomon looking like, you know, a stacked monkey right here, ready to use the Mach Punch to its advantage. And here comes a bind attack, and oh my lord, that right there is going to mess me up just a little bit, so... Oh my god, stop it, stop it. Alright, here we go, we're getting hurt by bind, so let's go with a mock punch yet again. This Pokemon is throwing his hands, that's right, say goodbye to Onyx. And that right there will increase levels all over the place, including smoke. And here we have another Onyx coming out. I wish I could use the other two Pokemon that I have, but they don't have the, the particular moves that I want in order to beat this Pokemon, so... Yeah, let's go. Mog Punch for the win. And... Oh my god. Almost defeated him. And just like his counterpart, he wants to use a Bind Attack, so... Yeah, we're getting squeezed for our lunch money and all that stuff, so here we go. Let's get it again. Mog Punch. For the win, and there you go. Onyx has been defeated. Yeah. Look at that. And, well, Hiker Theodore is not so pleased, but yet we still, you know, we, we still make a very, very good impression on him. Okay, so let us move on right here. I did see an item, and there it is. Grab this. Found ourselves a Poison Barb, which will power up any Pokemon's uh, Poison-type moves. Now... If you guys take a look, there is a hidden area right here in the bottom of uh, the cycling road. All you have to do is go down, and from there, you're going to be going into the Wayward Cave. Now, the reason why you can't get Gibble so soon is because you got these three boulders right in front of you. Pokemon and Nintendo screwed us with this. This is the reason why I traded for a Gibble. Sue me. I don't care. I want a Gibble. So, you can't do anything about that. And we're going to be going right here towards this area. And yes, we're going to be needing another repel because holy buckets. So before we go into, before we go into the cave, I'm going to heal up my Pokemon real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back and we are healed up and ready to go. Now, 
We're gonna be going into the Wayward Cave, guys. Now, you will be needing a Pokemon that needs to learn Flash. And the good thing about this whole game is that it's no longer an HM, and uh, it is a TM. There's only one downside. I think you only get one. Yes, you only get one Flash. And good thing is that Electro Star can learn this move. So it shouldn't be that hard to, you know, to, 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 to take away a different move right here. So there we go. We are going to take away Leer in place for, you know, Flash. Uh, you can buy a Flash later on into the game. So let's go right ahead and use that Flash technique. Where is it? There you go. And there it is. Flash. And look at that. Everything is wide open. Make sure to bring a lot of... Uh, well, yeah, make sure to bring a lot of, uh, what was it called, uh, repels, because the Pokemon here are going to be crazy. So, we're going to be breaking Brocks with our Lord and Savior, Bidoof. And, uh, well, we're just going to be battling everybody. Now, in this particular area, you will be having a bunch of double battles, so just keep an eye out for that. There are going to be a lot of hikers, a lot of pretty strong Pokemon trainers right here. And... Also, make sure to, to use the dowsing machine, too. Um, this place can have some hidden items. And, nope, there's nothing right there. Uh, I would say go ahead and get a, make sure to have a Pokemon with HM, the HM uh, Rock Smash, but that's not allowed anymore. And I'm going to break every stone. And we're going to battle everybody in here. Just to uh, make this episode worthwhile. And these are two of the same guys, and I don't have a... Okay, you know what? I'm going to go with Toothless right here. I did give it Quick Claw just uh, for this particular situation. All right, so let's see what we have right here. Now, one thing I wish I still had was the... What was it? The speed button. Things would have been a little bit quicker here, but we have to go at the normal pace and whatnot. And... Uh, well, we got two hikers coming out with Onyx and Geodude. This is going to be a tough one. So, let's see if we can go with uh, Mach Punch to Onyx because we face a lot of Onyx. And then let's go with a Sand Tomb on Onyx because I guess it's the more... Yeah, I guess it's the more... Uh, uh, what was it? Threatening Pokemon. And here comes a Smackdown. Oh yeah, they're laying the smack it down to my uh, Monferno's candy, you know what. So here comes a Sand Tomb. That one's super effective. And now it's getting hit by a Quicksand, and here comes a Rock Polish. So now, we have to worry about this, uh, this Geodude right here for being very, very speedy. But we got Quicksand, or the Quicksand move, or whatever it is. So, Sand Tomb is going to defeat Onyx all by itself. Let's go with a Mach Punch, and a Sand Tomb to Geodude, just in case it does have Sturdy. Because these Rock-type Pokemon usually have Sturdy, unlike this one right here. So there it is. We have defeated Geodude. Alrighty. And Toothless has grown to level 18, and it wants to learn Bulldoze. So this is a this is a far better move than, than Sand Tomb. Hmm. You know what? We're going to go with Sand Attack, because I do like... I do like the Sand Tomb part. It, it, you know, it's super effective and, you know, it's kind of like a fire spin and all that crud in. Well, Rock Throw hits us. Here comes the Sand Tomb. And there goes Onyx. And yes, we have won. Alrighty. Okay. And there we go. Oh, wow. He's coming out with a Machop. Okay, so this guy still has one more Pokemon left. Let's go straight for a Flame Wheel. And let's go for a Dragon Breath attack right here. Now, remember, Bulldoze is like Earthquake, a little weaker version of Earthquake, and we don't want to, you know, we don't want to make our Pokemon faint since it is weak against ground types. And, well, there you go. Machop defeated. And, uh, well, there we go. More points for our Pokemon. And somebody's learning faint. Ah, Monfernomon. Uh, faint. This attack it hits a target using a move with such protect, uh, detect, and it also lifts the effects of those moves. Huh. Huh. And our Pokemon is a very physical one. Um. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna switch out Ember. We're gonna switch out Ember because, well, you know, 
we'll see what happens and I am getting a phone call right here so I'll be right back with you guys okay so we have defeated these people and well look at that we got Electro Star and it is learning roar yeah we're not gonna we're not gonna learn roar right here because we don't need it so there you go guys we have defeated Reginald and uh, whatever the other guy's name was because again I forget very easily and stuff so there you go and uh, well Let's see. Is there anything else right here? Let's go with this one and repel. Make sure again to get a lot of repels, guys, because yeah, this is this is gonna be something that Well, repels are needed for this one. Especially where you were. And these guys are gonna have four Pokemon. And it's looking like a quick battle right here. So let's go with Monfertamon and Toothless. And Go with a mock punch onto Baneri because I do feel like Baneri is going to just do something. And Bulldoze will hit everybody. So let's go with the Dragon Breath and finish off with Bidoof right here. So here comes Mock Punch, Baneri, defeated. And if only they could just come out with like normal type Pokemon, that'd be great. So let's see, here comes a Dragon Breath. And that will take care of the Lord and Savior itself. But here comes Headbutt. And Toothless is just taking it, so let's go with this. Let's go with that. With whatever Pokemon they come out with. So here comes a Mock Punch. And Bidoof. Defeated. Okay, alrighty. And here comes a Dragon Breath. Well, unfortunately, we can't do anything about that. I, I think that one of these people has, like, yeah. Actually, let's not do that. Let's go with a Flame Wheel. And go with a Dragon Breath right here. So we're going to go Dragon Breath and Flame Wheel, and there we go with Zubat. So I guess <laughs> I guess Toothless is going to miss again. And Toothless has grown to level 19 without doing anything at all. And here comes an A-Palm, so this is looking like an easy battle right here. So here comes Mach Punch. Toothless, let's go ahead and use a Sand Tomb. I don't care. You're not going to even use it, so here we go. Mock Punch for the win. And there you go. Finished it off and, well, last Cassidy and the other person got defeated right there. So, yeah, buddy. Okay, so, yeah, you better not be crying because this is, you know, this is Pokemon. Okay, so before I take off right here because I just got called or something like that. Let's grab this. We found ourselves the TM32. That is double team. That is a very effective move that you can use. And, uh, well, I'm going to pause right here. Not the episode. I just got to do a little something with the phone call. So uh, it's going to be a few hours. I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty. So like I said, it was an hour or two. <laughs> yeah, the family called and I had to join and all that crud. So let us continue. Good God. Okay, so we've already defeated those two people, and now we're trying to locate whoever it is that we're trying to locate. There's a Pokeball that I saw over there, and uh, let's see. Uh, yes, we're going to use another repel. Again, guys, make sure to stock up on a lot of repels, because good God, I can't stress it enough. How many times I've actually, like, you know, haven't had enough repels to get out of here, and then the amount of Pokemon they just show up and everything, so that... That right there, just make sure to be, be safe, guys. Stock up and everything. So, let's go right ahead and get ourselves a... Well, let's switch up the Pokemon. Let's see, Toothless is kicking some butt. Let's go with Hydro. And you know what? Smoke. Let's give Smoke a little bit of love right here, okay? I want it to evolve, and yes, I will be trading it. I have the benefit of trading this Pokemon right here. So, let's see what these two people are. And, of course, we're going to go with our usual with our usual cough drop because, well, your boy still hasn't, isn't out of the wood just yet. And where is my water? It's right there. <laughs> it's not a big water. Uh, hold on. Okay, here we are. And you gotta love the green screen, you really do. Okay. Ah, tasty. Okay. So we're taking on a Cascone and a Silcoon. There really isn't much that we can do right here, except eh, hurt them. Just hurt them. Okay, so here we go. Bam, Cascoon defeated. 
And that will be quite a few experience points for our, our, our boy Hydra right here. Look at that. Hydra's going, and it learned Waterfall. I didn't know that it could learn Waterfall. Huh, that's new. And, well, here comes a tackle attack. Not much of a... Oh, wow. Okay. I see what it is. Let's go. He chose violence today, so I'm going to go with a waterfall attack. And we're going to go with Silicon right here. So here we go. Waterfall. I didn't know that it could learn waterfall. Holy crap. I... Wow, how's that? I've been out of the loop, guys. And Smoke grows to level 22. Starblade at level 24. And, uh, well, here comes another payback. And that is still not doing it. That's still not doing a lot. But still, it's something. All right, time to choose violence yet again. Waterfall. Hydra's just become a tank. And let's go with a tackle attack because, well, you know, our Pokemon can't get hit. So here we go. Waterfall for the win. Again, this is amazing. All right. So I made the right choice. And a payback has failed. And here comes Beautifly. All right, Beautifly. Time to eat this. Take this waterfall attack and... Uh, well, you know what? Let's go with a hypnosis attack. We're eh, it's not gonna hurt anybody right here. So here we go, waterfall for the win. And there goes Beautifly. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Alrighty. And Smoke rose to level 23. And Pe Camper Diego and uh Picnic are just lost. So <laughs> oh my god. So the campers and the picnickers are right here are just like <laughs> Oh my god, they're the funniest people ever because it's like, oh my god. Okay, so let's see. We are uh, not getting any more items except for rare candies. Now, if I remember correctly, in the last Brilliant Diamond walkthrough, I didn't use the uh, I didn't use the rare candies for an extended period of time, so couldn't tell you why. All right, so we're gonna use another repel, and right here we're gonna be finding ourselves an escape rope. Which, yeah, it's going to help us out. Let's go right ahead and uh, see what where we can go now. You know what? We're going to wait on that. Because we're going to find ourselves a potion. That's, uh, that's pretty cool right there. So let's go right here and grab this and bam. Okay, so you got two ways to go. And that looks like the, the right way. Wow, there's so many ways. And, uh, well, there's another picnicker in, uh, in a camper, so here we go. What, uh, what every good picnic needs is a cute setting. Good food and a fun battle. Okay, so my question is, why would you have a picnic right here? This is not a good setting. This is a cave. And it took for me to, to turn everything on. What the heck? Okay, so let's go. Taking on a picnicker Asa or Anna and uh, camper. I can't remember his name, so let's go. With the, with the dream team. That's right. Intimidate everybody. Yes. Okay, alrighty. So there's that. Weasel's looking uh, like it, it, it's gonna do us, uh, it's gonna do something. So what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna use Curse. And Weasel is gonna go for a quick attack onto Hydra because they obviously know who, who the tough person is. Here we go. Waterfall, say goodbye to Meditite. And, well, there's more points. And Toothless grows to level 20. And here comes a curse attack. So this right here will cut our HP in half. But it will put a curse onto this Pokemon, Weasel. And the only way to heal this is through switching out your Pokemon. So what we're going to do is going to go for a Waterfall. And, uh, yeah, we're going to use a Super Potion because, well, shoot. Let's go right ahead. Let's do that. Super potion for smoke. And there you go. Smoke. You get your HP back. Bam. And here goes a quick attack. Yeah, still not going to work. Here we go. Waterfall for the win. And there you go. Weasel has been defeated. Okay. Alrighty. And... Wow, he's got a Shinx. Wow, these trainers... These trainers in their Pokemon, it's just mysterious. So mysterious. I, I should probably take a look at the Pokeballs of how many they have before they battle me. And I am not doing that. Okay, so let's go with the Waterfall Attack. And 
you know what, screw it. Let's go with a mean look. Not doing anything. You know, he's just staying there for, for the ride, and Shinx has been defeated. See that? Easy battle. And, well, there we go. Both Picknicker and Camper have been defeated. And, uh... <laughs> oh, my God. So, let's see. Again, check all the boulders and uh, to see if there's, like, any hidden items, right, guys? And as you guys can see, nope, we can't go through that section. And we will find ourselves a burn heal, which that right there is a, a, a good consolation prize and all that stuff. So let's go right here. We're going to break this boulder. And, well, this is going to lead us straight to this. So there's, there's quite a few boulders around here. And let's see. Okay, so there might be an item right there. There's still trainers. And let's see, let's go with right here. We already have uncovered that. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and switch the dream team. Let's go with uh, Electro Star and Star Blade. Double the Intimidate. All right, here we go. You look like you might just have Pokemon that I've been looking for. Probably. In deep tunnels and caves, there are there are a couple things that you should sh sh to see: Zubats and Ruined Maniacs. This is so true. This is very true. So here we go, taking on Collector Terry and Ruined Maniac uh, Gerald. Yes, from Hey Arnold. And uh, well, he's coming out. He, he came out with his Ghastly. So here we have Double Intimidate. I guess the only person it's going to be really affected is a uh, is a uh, Geodude himself. Look at that, double the Intimidate. Yeah, okay. So how are we gonna beat this guy? All right, let's go with a Spark Attack. Hit this guy, and uh, well, we can go with a Wing Attack. Screw it, let's go with Ghastly and then find something else. So here we go, Wing Attack for the win, and because it hit Ghastly, that Spark Attack is not gonna work on Geodude, so I'm probably gonna yeah, I probably need to switch. Yeah, I need to switch Pokemon because this is not gonna work. Okay, so here's a speed, and here comes another Ghastly. So for this situation, we are gonna be switching to Hydra, and good old Starblade is gonna keep on doing what Starblade does, and that's Wing Attack. That would have been more dramatic if I actually like hit it with a Wing Attack and stuff. So there we go, Hydra. How's it going? And triple the intimidate. Okay. Well, triple intimidate on the Geo dude right here. And here we go. Wing attack for the win. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. And Hydra almost grows to level 22. And here comes a rock polish yet again. Mainly for its speed. So it's like faster than both of us combined, I guess. And seriously. So this guy is coming out with nothing but ga uh, Gastly's, and uh, well, we're just gonna keep on going with wing attacks and see what happens from here. So here we go, Starblade, wing attack for the win, and uh, there you go. Say goodbye to another Gastly. Hydra, without doing anything, grows level 22, and finally Hydra gets to do something, and that is waterfall attack. I, I am still in disbelief that waterfall attack is. Well, it can learn Waterfall Attack right there and then. And are you serious, man? How many Pokemon do you guys have? Got one more. So let's go with a Bite Attack, mainly because, well, Bronzor is a Psychic-type Pokemon. And we're going to go with a Wing Attack. Not going to be effective because it's a Steel-type. And here comes the Bite Attack. And there you go. Bronzor defeated. And, well, that right there is a victory for all of us right here. Yes. Okay. They're not liking it, but yeah, we, we, we're the victors. Okay, so there might be an item right here. Yes, we found ourselves a tiny mushroom, which I guess you can sell for pretty good items. Now, if you go north right here, you will be able to find an individual, kind of like, like what you did over at the Eterna Forest. And the funny thing about it is that he, he too would also heal your Pokemon if need be. You can't use an escape rope if you're walking with this dude. And, or this chick. Wow, I thought it was a dude. 
Okay, here she is. I'm Myra. I was catching Pokemon and then I got lost. I'm so scared. Please, please take me to the exit. Sure. Okay, so we have found Myra and she will keep our Pokemon healthy at all times. There's just one little problem. That is that we've pretty much battled everybody. And as you guys can see, we found ourselves a nugget. And here we go again. And, well, the, the only thing we need to do now is just to rush back to, towards the exit. Like I said, when we have an individual with us, we can't be using, or we, we, we are unable to use the escape rope right here. So, just follow where I'm going, and hopefully you won't get lost just like I did. Or her, or she did. Alrighty, look at this. That's right. Team Draven, kicking some butt, taking some names. There we go. And... Yeah, if only the toggle buttons are a little bit easier right here. And, yes, we're using more repels. Because we can. Because we actually stocked up this time. We weren't idiots. And, not there. And she's running. She's running with us. Yeah, she's going to be burning some calories right now. And, here we go, another repel. So, we're pretty much taking, like, 500 steps. And, I think we are here. Are we? Jeebus, okay, come on, right here. Yes, we have reached the exit. There she is, and she's gonna be like, oh, there's the exit. I want to get uh, tougher so I won't uh, be such a scaredy cat. Draven, bye-bye, thank you. All right, so we've completed the mission, guys. Whew, all righty. So it's automatically saving, and uh, well, there really isn't anything else that we need to do except for what happens in the next episode before we get into, I believe, Heartfall or Jubilife City? I think it's one of those two. Again, guys, my bad. I don't remember so much of uh, the cities. I just know where to get around and all that stuff. And, uh, well, here we are. Taking a cut. And, bam, look at that. Okay, alrighty. So, here we are back in, uh, I don't remember the route. Route 207. So, in the next episode, guys, we are going to be going to... Uh -uh. I think that side. Yeah, that side. We're going to be going that side, and uh, we're going to be going into Mount Coronet for a brief moment and make our way to Jubilife City, I think. Return to City. I think we've already been there. You guys already know. The next town over. So, thank you guys again for being patient. Thank you guys again for being, uh, you know, uh, what was it called? Uh, for being patient and uh, be very, uh, very, very supportive. Yes, I keep on forgetting stuff. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. See you guys.